guys, welcome to day 15 in uh, my journey to hair regrowth. Um, what I'm doing, for those of you that have been following along, I've been taking some products from a company called Advanced Trichology, and um, I'm taking a DHT blocker, which is dihydrotestosterone blocker, um, a Nutra M, which is a melatonin applied topically on your head, which I just applied about 10 seconds ago, and my hair doesn't look greasy or oily, just a little wet right now. And I'm also taking um, a vitamin D3 supplement uh, that I put five drops on my tongue. I do all this daily. I take um, four of these pills, two a lunch and two a dinner. But today, my new nugget of information um, comes from a comment I received on my previous video from a gentleman who has um, so was suffering with dandruff and hair loss. And um, he told me he was using tea tree oil shampoo. So tea tree oil shampoo on his head. I did, as always, I did my research and I found a few interesting things about tea tree oil that I did not know. I'm going to share this uh, information with you. So here's what I found. So first thing is that tea tree oil can actually help as an antifungal and um, antibacterial agent on your head. So it effectively helps clean up the scalp right at where the follicle level is. So that's that's the first thing of how you know tea tree oil shampoo can help. And uh, let's see, the second thing or rather as a result of the tea tree oil stopping the dandruff, it helps your follicles, uh, you know, grow your hair back. So essentially it cleans off the area so your hair can grow back. So that's two good things about this tea tree oil shampoo that I had no idea about. The only downside I found with the tea tree oil shampoo was that if your condition is hereditary, um, or if you know if you have an underlying condition, or if your age determines that you know you have been thinning for quite some time, that tea tree oil shampoo is not going to help your hair grow back. So just keep that in mind. Yes, it'll help uh, clean the scalp with that, you know, by being an antifungal and an antibacterial, but it's not going to magically get your hair to grow back on your head. So pros and cons uh i would take it i would use it you know if if you think that would help you know clean because if you have dandruff but if you're just trying to buy it because you think that's going to get your hair to grow back uh especially if it's hereditary that's most likely not going to happen but um regardless i put a link to uh, what was a very um highly reviewed tea tree oil shampoo uh, that I found it, and you'll find it in the description uh, of this of this video. So, guys, like, subscribe, put all your notifications. Wait for my next video. I'm on day 15. I'm hoping to get to five, six, or nine months of my journey to hair regrowth. Now, I do this every day just to show you what the hair on the back of my head looks like. Maybe if I maybe if I do this, it. May, if I do this, it might help. Let's see. <laughs> if not, I'll I'll just keep doing this. So I'm trying to grow this back. I'm trying to get you know the thinning uh, to stop. Trying to get a little thicker, and maybe if I can get some of this back. See how it's getting really bad on this side. So it's kind of wonky. Um, fingers crossed, it works. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.